Greetings and welcome to a new video. I have some exciting news for everybody waiting for a jailbreak on iOS 16.3 on A12 and up devices because on A11 and lower you can already use the pale range jailbreak. If you are interested in a guide for pale range jailbreak, it is in the description. So as you can see, this developer has achieved a jailbreak on iOS 16.3 running on iPhone 14 Pro and has achieved SSH on it, as you can see it right here. You can confirm it seeing the kernel version that it is indeed on iOS 16.3. So it is looking quite good. The developer even used the bootstrap from Fugu 15. It means that you will be able to install a package manager like Cilio and will be able to run tweaks in the future. This means that if it can use the bootstrap right from Fugo 15, it means that it is quite good. When this is released, it will work on all versions from iOS 16.3 and below, all right? As you can see it right here, at the time of making this video, iOS 16.3 is still signed. So if you are on iOS 16.3.1, my sincere advice will be to downgrade to iOS 16.3 right now. So if you are on 16.3.1 right now, like me, it is very easy to downgrade to 16.3. Open iTunes, connect your iPhone or iPad and hit the serial number a few times. You will see the model identifier. For me, it is 10,2 iPhone 8 Plus. Now go to IPSW.me. It is completely free. Now select your device from here. Scroll down to your device. All right, so I have this iPhone 8 Plus. If you are confused between global and GSM variants, just open it and just match the model identifier from here. And then hit the version. Then scroll down and download the IPSW from here. Now guys, to go back to 16.3 from 16.3.1, simply open itunes connect your device and then first of all back your data up using this button and then if you are on windows press and hold the shift key and on mac press and hold the options key and then left click restore iphone and then select the ipsw that you have downloaded open you'll see this dialog hit restore and then your device will be restored or downgraded back to ios 16.3 all right, as you can see, I have successfully downgraded to iOS 16.3. Now you can restore the backup from here. One more best thing that you can do is save blobs for iOS 16.3 using blob saver. So download it for Windows if you are using Windows. Blob saver is a completely free software. Now open it and connect your device via USB and then hit read from device. Make sure that the device is trusted and then just Put a check mark here and here so that it is saved to TSS saver and SHSH host also. Now hit go. And like so, your blobs for iOS 16.3 are saved. Now simply keep them in a safe place so that you can use them later for updating or future restoring. And this will be released most likely when iOS 16.3 is no longer signed. That's all for this video guys. If you still have questions, ask in the comment section. I will see you in a new video. Goodbye and take care of yourself.